at 630. When you hear the words national emergency, you might think catastrophic events like a big storm or its aftermath. Well, there is a storm brewing and it has to do with our children's mental health. The pandemic has made an emerging problem that much worse, and we asked KDK's Andy Sheehan to look into it. Well, when I set out to do this story, I was tasked with finding solutions. After all, anxiety, depression, loneliness, and suicide are tough subjects, especially when it involves our own sons and daughters. Tonight, you'll hear from kids themselves on what might be working. If you're angry, how can you change your thought process? Two years into the pandemic, our young people are suffering, but in some corners, help has come. Here at Linton Middle School in Penn Hills, counselor Mary Wakefield runs a class called New Direction. In the past, students who've gotten in trouble for fights or disruptions would have gone to the principal's office. Now they're sent here instead. So you got stress, anxiety, you got a number of things that's going on with the students. Students like sixth grader Chase, who's fallen behind academically after a year of hybrid and virtual learning. It was bad. It was bad? Why? It's just hard to do my work at home. I get a lot of distractions when I'm at my own house. And Davon, whose re-entry to school has been marked with fights. People just be talking about me, they make me mad. So I just get, like, ang like ang I get angry, like, like altercations and stuff. They don't know how to socialize like they used to. Um, their academics is, is falling far behind. So it's really crucial that they be in class and learning because it affected them so much. To keep them in school, New Direction has three classrooms. This darkened and quiet room for calming, a private room where they can get individual attention, and this group room where they discuss better ways to cope with the world. If you made a bad decision, we're trying to get you to think about how you could change it and make good decisions. Mental health is a district-wide concern. In hallways, traditional security guards are replaced with a team of youth engagement specialists. They intercede in any fights and offer on-the-spot counseling to students starving for attention and in dire need of some assurance. Some of them just come up to my team or, or myself, can I talk to you? And a lot of them just come up and, you know, start to cry and just tell, you know, different problems they're having. And a lot of it is based on, you know, the pandemic that we're going through. Penn Hill Superintendent Nancy Hines put the pieces of this team in place prior to the pandemic in response to fights and gun violence. She says educators need to go deeper addressing the whole student. We're going to save this generation. I mean, there's just no alternative answer to that. We have to do it. Whatever it takes, we have to step up. And there are signs the investment is paying off. I see a huge rebound in a lot of the kids compared to where they were at last year. That's good to hear. Yeah. Success measured one student at a time. Helping me with my anger and stuff. Like, Helping you with your anger? Yeah, coping skills. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what, what are your, what are your hopes for yourself? get better grades, stop getting altercations. And Penn Hills is not the only district taking this approach. Plum and other school districts in our region have assembled similar teams of counselors, social workers, and psychologists to address the problems of their students, as some child advocates are calling for a national initiative. Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.